Welcome to the Morning Update, I'm Heidi Tiltons. The ongoing stoush between the state and federal governments has come to a head with New South Wales hospitals to help with the vaccine rollout. Four million Australians were supposed to have received their first jab by the end of last month, but fewer than three quarters of a million were administered. Hospitals across New South Wales will now become mass vaccination hubs. Victorians who have recently returned from Brisbane no longer have to isolate if they've returned a negative COVID test. As of 6pm last night, the Health Department has downgraded Greater Brisbane from a red zone to an orange zone. The PM and his wife Jenny are wishing all Australians a happy Easter. They've released a video message saying it's a special time when people will come together in a way they haven't been able to during the pandemic. Scott Morrison admits the past year has been a tough one. It's our capacity to love our neighbour as ourselves that I think has really demonstrated the great Aussie spirit of mateship over this past year. It appears men with higher levels of testosterone are at a greater risk of developing melanoma. Scientists in the UK have found a link between the two but are yet to determine whether men with higher hormone levels just spend more time in the sun. And Russia has registered the world's first COVID jab for pets. It's hoped the vaccine would help in the struggle against the spread of mutations of the virus. To sport, Brisbane has beaten Collingwood by one point with a goal after the siren to win by one point. The Lions winning six 73, the Pies 72. The Seagulls have been blown away by the Panthers, going down 46 to 6 in the NRL overnight. Tonight, the Bulldogs go head to head with South Sydney before the Broncos come up against the Storm. The Central Coast Mariners are back on top of the A League table after their 2 1 victory over Adelaide United. Western United beat Melbourne City 2 1. And Australia and New Zealand's T20 Women's Cricket Series has been held to a draw after rain forced play to be abandoned in the decider. To entertainment, news, Demi Lovato's new music video is set to be pretty confronting. The singer is reliving her near-fatal drug overdose drama by reenacting her brush with death for the clip. Tara Reid believes it's only a matter of time before we get another instalment of American Pie. She says a script has already been drawn up for the fifth instalment in the comedy franchise, but they're waiting until the actors can coordinate their filming schedules. And Paul Simon has sold his entire song catalogue to Sony Music. The deal covers more than six decades of music and includes hits like Mrs Robinson, Bridge Over Troubled Water and Call Me Al, the singer calling Sony the custodian of his music. And that's the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of The Update.